How would you describe yourself? Okay. It's cheesy, disgusting, and ugly. Realism is what I'd say inspires me the most to write a song. Raw emotion, uh, creative energy. Um, being in a spot where you're unsure of what's going on and you want answers and everyone seems to be the deaf or mute. That's the type of things that inspire me to write a song because those are those breaking moments where you like, nah, I gotta say something. I gotta be heard. You know, I gotta shut these people up or at least make them listen. It's more about a moment. The only the moments that I really want to create by, my, by myself is when I am by myself in seclusion because that's when I'm able to like really put my thoughts together and think about things from my experience and from others' experience without any outside noise or distraction. That's the only time and place I would say I like to write or create. How does your songwriting process usually go? Um, if I was answering this question um, years ago, I would say like my songwriting process took for me to like be inspired by something like whether I saw um, something happen in my life or someone else's life, whether it was tragic, eventful, or, uh, pleasing. You know, um, it, it took for me to be inspired first, and then like, damn, I think this is something I want to write about. My process is a little bit the same, but it's different because I don't write anymore. I just get inspired and then I speak about it. And if it comes out dope, it does. If not, it's still dope to me. So, yeah. Listen, these rappers nowadays stupid. They talk about their drugs and they clout and their music. They talk about their moves like they different and they dream major. But then they go and ride trends like teenagers. Age 21, I rap for the mamas that ain't got poppers because they got choppers. Rather go speak and find love in the streets. No love at the house so the kids don't eat. Man, you wonder why the kids don't sleep. Why the kids pop pills. Why the kids go beat. Then the kids get killed by some ill ass cops because the trauma don't stop and the llamas go pop. Man, the hood is still sick. Can't ignore why you sit in your porch talking shit because you bored. I only ask this, I'm unsure. Does anybody make real shit anymore? Does anybody else give a shit about the poor? Only shit you support is the shit that you know. My biggest musical influence would be, uh, first and foremost, my mother. She used to sing a lot and used to expose me to a lot of uh, good music. You know, old people, not to call my mom old, but likes to call their music good music. That's Anita Baker, uh, Rita Franklin, Lauren Hill, Yolanda Adams, uh, Lisa McClendon. Um, Smokey Norfolk, these are like gospel singers that cultivated me as a musician when I was young. Uh, later on down the line, my pops, um, he was a rapper and he introduced me to people like Tupac Shakur, Soldier Slim, uh, Master P, even Lil Wayne, indirectly. place I aspire to perform the most um, is a little unorthodox, but in the middle of the city, straight up raw and in people's faces, uh, where it's free, you don't gotta pay, you don't gotta line up, you already there, right in the moment. Loving up on my body, loving up on my, loving up on my body, loving up on my body. You feel me? It's a young kid.